Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wofferman here with CompuShow Video Manuals. Today I want to talk to you about the MidiCon 2 and making it work with CompuShow. Now if you want to see the review on the MidiCon 2 and my overall thoughts about it, make sure you check it out at gearitfirst.com. But for now, let's go ahead and get this guy ready to go. Now the MidiCon 2 uses a much more advanced mapping file than the regular MidiCon, almost similar to the MidiCon Pro. Because of that, the only version of CompuShow that supports it is anything newer than March 2017. So first, you'll want to get that version, and you can get that from our Facebook group. Just search online for CompuShow User Support Group, or you can email Alation Support, and they'll get that file sent over to you. You'll also get a MidiCon 2 mapper file, and I've already unzipped that, and it's here on my desktop. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. We've got the PDF that has all the instructions and we've got the actual mapping file. Let's go ahead and open this guy up, ready to go. The program will open up instantly and the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go into file and then open. We're gonna need to open up our file. Now that file is pretty easy to find because it's already built into CompuShow. So what you'll do is you'll go into your CompuShow folder. There it is there. And I've got a couple different betas installed because I like to try out different versions. So you're gonna go into your CompuShow folder and click on Common. Once you're on Common, you'll click on Console. And there it is right there, your system file for your MidiCon 2, or your SysX file as we call it. Click on Open, map has been updated successfully, and you're good to go. So we have our March 2nd beta opened, ready to go. Now by the time you watch this, there may be a newer version or you know whatever it is. Either way, make sure it's at least March 2nd, 2017. And just like every other thing that we've done, we're gonna open up a new tab. And in case you haven't noticed, one of the nicer things about the 2017 versions is that you can now export individual consoles. So you no longer have to import or export the entire file. This is really good when you're managing multiple systems. We're just gonna right click, make a new folder. We're gonna rename it and we're gonna call it MidiCon 2. And our console, we're gonna have our MIDI con. So we're just gonna go down here, MIDI con 2. All right, so we got it there. Now we're gonna go into our preferences. Go to your MIDI setup and choose your MIDI con 2. Once that's loaded up, you'll see that it's pretty much ready to go. We've got our wheels, your individual encoders. We've got your buttons all working. All right guys, and that's it. Real simple way of loading the map. They've made it super simple. I'll be doing some more videos on the MidiCon 2, including a thorough review so you guys can get an idea a little bit on what the MidiCon 2 is all about and the difference between that, the original MidiCon, and a MidiCon Pro. For any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment below. Make sure to share this with your fellow lighting designers, DJs, installers, uh, event producers. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Have a great day and God bless.